Hello Aquarius and welcome to this little corner of the internet that is Wild Fox Alchemy. My name is Maria Guyon, I am an intuitive business success coach, an ecotherapist, a soul healer and a tarot card reader. And I'm here to do your business and finance reading for the month of January 2022. And before we get into the energy of the cards, I will say I am so sorry that this has taken some time to get out. But here in Spain, Christmas only just ended on the 6th of January. And it's been madness. Plus, we've had a bit of illness in the family, so I've been a little bit delayed. I'm still a little bit chesty, actually, um, and struggling to talk for any sort of length of time. But onwards and upwards, enough about me. Let's see what the energy of the cards is for you. It's all been a bit crazy in here. And we started off with two cards. Now, I've got Panther card reclaim your power and whale spirit trust the great mystery so we've got one in reverse there and one upright i love this card when this comes out this is a reminder that you are limitless that you are all powerful but that you are in an itty bitty human body that you believe is limited but you're not limited you are a soul you are a limitless soul there are endless possibilities awaiting you and it's up to you to reclaim your power. Don't give it away to other people. Don't let other people control you. Don't let other people make decisions on your behalf. You need to take the reins of your life and make sure that you are in charge. Now, we then have this whale spirit, trust the great mystery. But that one was in the protection position. So I'm going to have a little look at the book. On. sometimes I get an intuitive message and sometimes I don't and I haven't got an intuitive message here so I've been told to, to look at the book certainty is not offered to you right now you are being asked to trust the process of co-creation whale spirit reminds you that your primary reality is not that of the material world but that of the realm of spirit from which the essence of your dreams and desires take shape before arriving as a specific form you must trust absolutely that what will come will be for the highest good. Stay in your present moment awareness and allow the hidden realms to hold your intentions safely until it is time for them to manifest in the realm of form. Let go for you will not be left behind. Some things take longer than others to arrive. Okay, so I feel like maybe you've been a little bit impatient about what you want for your business and about the results that perhaps you've been getting for your business recently. I think the pandemic has been a terrible, terrible thing for a lot of people. Well, for many people. We've lost relatives, we've lost friends, we've lost freedoms, we've lost the ability to connect in the way that we could before. I also think we've gained a few things from it. Um, we've gained a realisation and understanding of what is actually important in life. To some extent, people have gained the knowledge that their job is yuck, that working from home is a possibility, that running a business, you know, a lot of people have started businesses since the pandemic because they had the opportunity to do so whilst they were furloughed and whole new worlds have opened up. But what I'm feeling in this reading here, Aquarius, is that there's been a little bit of impatience going on that you're kind of wondering when things are going to happen. You're manifesting like a mofo and it's just not coming for you. And so therefore, Whale Spirit is here to tell you to trust in the great mystery. The other thing that I would say is, that Spirit is, is guiding me to tell you, is that when we don't trust in the universe and the mystery and the way that things are, and we don't trust that the universe will give us what we want, we are giving our power away because we're leaving it in the hands of something else. And that's going to sound quite strange because it's like, it's going to sound really strange because I'm kind of saying, well, you're responsible for what the universe gives you, but you kind of are. The universe is giving and giving and giving the whole time. And it's up to us to be able to receive. Now, it could be that you're blocking what it is that you want, it could be that your impatience is blocking what it is that you want. It could be something else, a lack of faith that is 
blocking what you want. It could be that what you want is right on your doorstep and it's looking you right in the face and you just can't see it because of some limiting belief or sort of crazy thoughts or whatever that are just blocking it. It's a way of you giving your power away, not having your faith, not having faith and belief that what you want is coming to you. So don't fall for it, is what Spirit is saying. Where you need to focus your energy, we've got the Three of Acorns, Foresight and Exploration. I like this guy. This is a giraffe who sees things from a slightly different perspective than those of us that are at ground level. He sees things very, very differently. And he has more insight into things than perhaps we might do at ground level. You know, sometimes we just can't see the wood for the trees. Well, he's kind of rising above and looking down on things and going, mm, yes, yes, I can see what's going on. I can explore things from a whole new perspective. This card is about focusing on making your plans happen. How do you make your plans happen? Now, if you're anything like me and a lot of other people this time of year, we've been setting our goals. We've been deciding what we would like to happen in 2022. If you haven't already done that, I would suggest you do because writing goals down is a very, very good step to making them happen. Did you know that only 1% of people actually write down their goals every day? And that 1% of people tend to be 100% of people that get their goals because <laughs> they're focused. They are focused on what they want and how they are going to get it. When we know exactly what we want, very clearly what we want, it becomes a lot easier to see how we can go about getting it. So this guy is all about you having the confidence to look at what you want and say to yourself, how am I going to make these goals happen? How can I make my dreams, my goals for my business, for my finances? How am I going to make them happen? And I'm Spirit is just, Spirit is just saying to me that when we reclaim our power, we take control over what is going on. This is not about you drifting through 2022 going, well, whatever happens, happens. It'll all be good. Um, I'm sure, you know, I'll just keep plugging away at my business and I'm sure I'll get some money and maybe I'll be able to, to meet some targets. But I'm not going to write them down. I'm just going to see how I get on. You know, maybe I'll get um, 100 people on my email list or 1,000 people on my or 10,000 people. But actually, I'll not even remember what number I picked because I never wrote it down. And whatever will be, will be, and we'll just float along. No. <laughs> no. Spirit says that is how you give your power away. You're making the responsibility and the results of whatever happens dependent on other people. It's not on you. You need to be in charge. In charge, Marge, okay? You need to be looking at what is going to happen how are you going to make these wonderful plans that you've made happen? Okay. And like, like I said, if you've not done it already, it's not too late. Do it now. Just sit and think to yourself, what do you really want? Create a vision board. Do it on Pinterest, wherever. But visualise and write down in writing what it is that you want and look at it every day. Look at it every single day and say to yourself, how am I going to make this happen today? And you'll be amazed at the progress you'll make. Your strengths, we've got the page of shells, intuition and inspiration. This is a great card. This is a little messenger who is going to tell you that a surprise is coming. You are to expect the unexpected this month, Aquarius. There is something coming in for you. Something that is inspiring, creative, something that is going to rock your world. It's going to be your strength. Spirit is telling me to tell you to make sure that you keep your line of communication open with Spirit. There are going to be intuitive downloads for you. Intuitive downloads that will inspire you and create new possibilities for you that you might not have thought of before. But it's, the key to it is this plan. Spirit is saying to me that when you have your goals and you focus on them, that it 
opens your mind and your heart and your soul to opportunities and possibilities. You're not closed anymore. You're open to all the different ways that you can make this goal happen. Does that make sense? You have a plan, you have a goal, and you'll be able to see at a glance when something happens, whether it moves you forward towards your goal, whether it takes you away from it. And you are going to get some inspiration as a result of it, as a result of creating a vision board or writing these goals down. Something is going to come to you. It's going to be a nice surprise message that is going to inspire you onto greater things. So make sure that your lines of communication are open, is what Spirit says. Look out for signs and symbols, song lyrics, something somebody says in a TV show, something somebody says in a book, a poem, um, numbers that keep cropping up, angel numbers, uh, possibly you know something that comes up in the cards and you just look at it and go, oh, yes, and it will hit you like a bolt out of the blue. Something very spontaneous, something quite surprising and unexpected, but it's in regards to your creativity and your intuition. You will know, you will feel it in your bones that it's the right thing to do. Possible obstacles and blockages. Now, I don't like to see this in this position because this is the Ace of Crystals. This is about manifestation and prosperity. Okay. I feel, actually... Because when, when a card is in this position, and I say it's a warning or an obstacle or, you know, a, a possible blockage, it usually means that it's there waiting for you. So the Ace of Crystals is saying to me that there are new financial opportunities waiting for you. There is prosperity waiting for you. But that, for whatever reason, it is being blocked. And I feel it's linked to this. I feel like it's this lack of faith i think maybe you have been you have been trying to manifest for a while and maybe things just aren't happening the way that you want them to happen or you just can't see things coming in for you and you are just blissfully unaware that there is a blockage and that your lack of faith is then causing a further blockage so it's all there and waiting for you you just need to get past this watching and waiting and trying to force things and push things and giving your power away to other people waiting for them to drop you an opportunity in your lap when really you're the one that's supposed to be going out there and looking for the opportunities does that make sense i hope so but as i said the ace of crystals is there the manifestation the prosperity is there it's waiting for you do not block it be open to it open your heart open your mind open your soul say to the universe i am ready i am ready to receive And the outcome is the Six of Crystals, Synergy and Gratitude. We've got another physical pentacle card there. The Six is about gratitude, it's about abundance, it's about accomplishment. It's about give and take and things feeling like they're very harmonious. So I feel like your outcome is this reason to be grateful, to be honest. The ability to be generous, there is money here. There is abundance in this reading. If you can get past this block and have confidence and faith in yourself, then this abundance will come through and you will feel amazing. You will be so grateful. You will be able to be generous. You will see the accomplishment. You will have given and you will receive in return. Okay? That's fantastic money reading, actually. It's a little bit uncomfortable. And as I always say, I don't sugarcoat these readings. Whatever spirit says to me to tell you is what I tell you. Okay? So I'm never going to just go, oh, it's all happy, happy, joy, joy, and everything's lovely. Sometimes it's not lovely. Sometimes it's bloody uncomfortable. But we have to look at the places where it feels uncomfortable if we are to grow. We have to deal and heal, and then we can move forward. Okay? So if there is some discomfort here, if there is some lack of faith around manifestation if you're saying well i'm manifesting like mad and nothing's happening look at it why why is it not happening what is it that is not happening um, in your life that allows you to be open to whatever it is that you want is it that you aren't setting clear goals that you're not making clear requests that you're very muddy about what you want that you say you want things but then when the opportunities come you push them away which is often what happens 
because we have fears and doubts we don't listen to our intuition and we go oh no no i'm too scared to to do that opportunity we can't do that because you know it's too frightening and, and i might fall on my face i might fail and that would just be terrible so i'm just you know i asked you for money i asked you for opportunities i asked you for business success but when you give it to me i'm too afraid to take the opportunities don't block what is there waiting for you get to the bottom of why you're blocking it is it confidence is it fear what is it because there's something that is likely to block you from moving forward and when you block you block this manifestation and then you don't get what you want and then you lose faith and that is not what we want into your business reading we've got soul family this came up for Sagittarius I think this is about calling in support support is one of the foundations of any sort of success health wealth passion and purpose along with exercise nutrition sleep stress relief support is one of the biggest things that gives us success that brings us success that helps us along our way this card is not just about the support of a tribe of people that are on this physical plane this is about calling in support from your spirit guides guardian angels animal guardians whoever it is that is on your team that is around you all the time can be relatives ancestors people you've met people you never met ancestors from hundreds of thousands of years ago um, your higher self the entelechy is also sitting there ready to support you call on whoever you need to give you the strength it says you don't have to do it alone and i'm talking here about this manifestation and about blocking manifestation because you're afraid or because you've got a limiting belief or because you've got a nagging little voice telling you that you aren't capable that you aren't enough that you can't do this that's exactly when you need to call in your soul family because they will support and lift you you will find inner strength from knowing that you have people holding you up supporting you having your back and as i said these can be people that are on this planet you can have wonderful family and friends that are supportive that say all the right things but for me when i'm doubting myself when i am struggling when i'm feeling fear the person i always turn to is my higher self my entelechy and what i do is i go into a state of meditation and i enter what i call the soul circle and i call into the soul circle my higher self the entelechy i i call in my ancestors my animal guardians i call in my my guardian angels i call in anybody that is in my spiritual support circle and i ask for guidance and the messages i get are phenomenal the support i feel is phenomenal it's wonderful and it's better than anything really you know it's like red bull for the soul it just energizes me and makes me feel like i'm limitless and i can do it because you are limitless you know i mean remember reclaim your power you are all powerful you are limitless there are possibilities there all over the place for you and if you're not feeling brave all you need to do is visualize your support system your spiritual support system visualize them holding your hand visualize them forming a protective bubble around you there are so many different ways that you can do this so that you know even if you're on your own in a meeting or you know you're doing some public speaking or something like that and you feel so isolated and so lost it doesn't matter because you've got your soul family with you in spirit okay if you need any guidance on that just let me know in the comments and i'll, I'll make some videos on it the way you need to focus your energy is the chariot discipline and determination okay this i feel is nicely in line with this three of acorns because the three of acorns is there telling you to make a plan and to work out how you are going to make that plan happen well 
we can sit there, we can write our goals down, we can say, how am I going to make this happen? You can say, well, I'm going to make these products and services and I'm going to sell them for X amount of dollars. And the plan is that I need to sell X amount of them to make my goal of X amount of dollars and that's it. And it sits there in your journal and that's the end. Well, that's not actually going to make that plan happen, is it? What you need to make that plan happen is this guy. Discipline and determination. You need to be absolutely disciplined, focused and determined to make it happen. The chariot I love, he's an action taker. He focuses so hard. What I always think of with this guy is that the rhino is very lumbering. He's very heavy. He's very large. He feels like he ought to be quite slow. And in fact, when he starts running, he is quite slow. But once he starts running, oh my goodness, he can build up quite some speed. He's very, very dangerous. He sticks his head down. He focuses exactly on where he is going. He doesn't move away from that goal. He just gets his head down and goes for it. And that's how you need to be now, Aquarius. You make the plan. You figure out what you need to do to execute the plan. You get the support that you need from your spiritual soul family. And then you have the discipline and determination to get up every day and move that plan forward. Take action on it. Don't just sit there looking at it because manifestation isn't about looking at a vision board and hoping that it lands in your lap by accident. It won't land in your lap by accident. There are six letters in the term law of attraction that are the most important six letters out of the whole of that title and that is the action part action law of attraction action we can't manifest without taking action we have to show the universe that we're serious about what we want and that means getting out of our comfort zone cracking on and going after it your strengths we've got the ace of feathers mental clarity and foundation marvelous absolutely marvelous there's going to be this intuitive download when it comes to your finances. You're going to feel inspired. The Ace of Feathers here now in the same position of your strengths is about mental clarity. This is about you having a mental breakthrough. This is about you having the seed of the idea that is going to come up here and sparking progress on it, laying the foundation, knowing exactly what you're going to do, starting on this journey. This is your strength now. This is your new beginning. This is doing something that is really going to take you forward. There's a lot of power in this card and a lot of action in this card. In fact, I feel like there's a lot of action throughout all of it, but as I said before, it's the key. Without the action, the success will not happen. Not like winning the lottery, but then you don't win the lottery unless you go and buy a ticket. You have to have taken that action in the first place. And it's the same with everything else. You've got to be all in. You've got to have bought and invested in your ticket in order to win whatever it is that you want. And you need to take the action so that you get what you want. Blockages, warnings, obstacles. We've got the hermit, contemplation and wisdom. Now, what I feel with this one is that sometimes we need to take a bit of time to think, to search our soul, to understand ourselves, to understand why we're in the situation that we're in, where blockages might be occurring, why things are the way they are. That can also be terrifying to some people. Some people don't like to be alone. Some people like to be around other people. And it gives them an excuse not to take time out to think and not to actually face the truth and the reality of who they are and why they are and what is happening. Okay. This is saying to you don't be afraid to take some time out alone to think about what it is you want and where you're going. I feel quite, quite a lot of movement in this reading. There's a lot of high energy in it. There's a lot of, 
a lot of action in it. There's a lot of action required in this reading. And Spirit is saying to me that the Hermit is here to just remind you not to be all action and no thought. That consideration and contemplation and meditation in solitude can bring us down loads. And I'm being drawn back to the page of shells with the intuition and inspiration. If you take time to meditate and think, to have moments of peace in your day then you don't know what will come out of it <laughs> I've spent some time just prior to the Christmas holidays doing nothing <laughs> and to start with it felt scary because I love work well you know they say that if you do what you love you never work a day in your life this for me is not like work <laughs> doing readings it's not like work I love doing it but I like to be always progressing. I like to be always taking action. I like to be always moving forward. And then I got sick just before Christmas. And I was forced really into taking some time. And not always pushing forward and not always trying to move my business forward and trying to, to do all the things. And... It was a wonderful time actually, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I used it as time to watch some workshops that I've not had time to watch, to read some books that I'd not gotten round to, to listen to some audio books when I was too sick to even read, and to actually take some time to meditate, to, to think about where I want to be, what I want to do, and it was so refreshing and lovely. And this is kind of what this card is here for you for now, Aquarius, because you're quite a busy bee. And I feel like sometimes it is all about the action for you and that, you you know, you'll listen to this and you'll go, right, that's it. I'm reclaiming my power. Let's get cracking. This is a great reading. All I need to do is take a load of action. Don't forget to take some time. Don't forget to take some time leaving your mind and heart and soul open for downloads of intuition and for messages from your soul family is so important don't just rush ahead and if you have confusion conflict if you aren't sure what you need to do next taking time and contemplation and meditation going into the soul circle and asking your soul family for guidance will bring you so much clarity So I feel like if you're going to achieve this mental clarity here that we've got with this Ace of Feathers, it's just a gentle reminder. Just stay open. Stay open to it. And your outcome is <laughs> Temperance, Balance and Harmony. Lovely card. This is all about everything just turning out wonderfully. Everything feeling balanced. Everything feeling harmonious. We've got harmony. We've got synergy here. Because the Six of Crystals is very similar kind of energy, very kind, very just oh, everything in perfect order, everything harmonious and wonderful. There's a lot of peace, a lot of peace of mind. I feel this patience is actually tied in with this, that by letting go of whatever this icky energy is up here, then this balance will come in for you. It's actually a really, really lovely reading, this Aquarius. I really enjoyed doing it. There's, there's a lot of success and there is abundance here for you. But I think overall the theme here is that you need to have a plan. You need to have a plan and you need to follow that plan with absolute discipline and determination. And when you need help with it, call for help. Don't block the prosperity that's coming in. And don't forget to take care of yourself. Don't forget to be open to downloads from spirit. Something fun is coming in. That page of shells is telling me something fun is coming in for you. 
and by following it all it will bring you confidence it will make you feel better you will feel balanced you will feel like you're in alignment you will feel like you are doing exactly what you were put on this planet to do so with that i'm going to close this reading spirit says it's complete don't forget i'm running a giveaway this month for an intuitive business success session with me which is a two-hour live session either on zoom or on the phone whichever and for two hours we will discuss your business we will talk about any blockages that you have any areas where you lack clarity it's kind of a freestyle session sometimes i'll draw on the cards sometimes i'll use a pendulum sometimes i'll just get intuitive downloads from spirit but at the end of it you should walk away with some clarity and a plan for what you need to do next if you'd like to win that all you need to do is comment below and tell me what are the current obstacles that you are facing in your business what are the biggest things that are annoying you is it the pandemic is it a lack of clients is it fear of visibility is it fear of success is it limiting beliefs about yourself feelings that you aren't enough lacking confidence whatever it is no judgment just put it in the comments and you will be entered automatically into the draw the winner will be drawn on the 31st of january and i will put out a video to let you know so it might be a good idea to ding the bell so that you're notified if you've won and i will see you again soon aquarius good luck with that with love and magic always i'll see you again soon this is maria guyan signing out